Ten Commandments are perceived as the foundation of the Judeo-Christian civilization. They are, I would say, the core principle on which rest the rest of the sacred text, the rest of our understanding of Christianity. And when we look at them, we acknowledge they are important, but they seem so simple. Do not kill each other. Do not steal. Do not cheat on your partner. Do you do not bear false witnesses? It seemed to be common behavior, common decency. So what's what's the big deal? Why this text has to be written in the Bible? Well, according to our Bible, actually, Moses received the Ten Commandments from God when the Israelites were in the wilderness. After several generations of servitude in Egypt, they were free and on their way to the Promised Land. And it took, according to the Bible, something like 40 years to get there. And during this time, in the wilderness. They have to, I would say, reorganize their society because up to this point, like I said, for several generations, uh, they were used to be told what to do, uh, how to behave, and, and all those things. That, uh, that was the Egyptian that was forcing them some code of, of behaving. Now in the wilderness, as a free people with no other Egyptian, they have to build their own society on new basis, on new guiding principle. All that they knew and experienced did not really relate, did not really work anymore. So those commandments, those rules came not as um, a form of punishment. Uh, sometimes the Ten Commandments are associated with you shall not and, and, and you know some would say you know taking out all the fun of life. That's not the way to police the, the uh, and, and kill the fun of everybody but to set some boundaries that seems to be based on common sense and inside those boundaries this new collective would flourish. And in so many ways, um, we might be in a very similar situation these days. We feel this, this challenge, not that for someone like me, white men uh, in Canada did not know servitude. But for several generations, the society I belonged to was fairly in one way, and there's this feeling that things are changing. Church people, they will talk about the secularization of the society. They will, some would say, oh, when I was younger, everything was closed, the store were closed on Sunday morning. Now it's, nobody cares about religion anymore. There's constantly new technology. Every it, it seems that every week there's a new gadget, there's a new app, there's a new gizmo that move us further and further away from our lifestyle only a few years ago. Also the fabric of our society change. Uh, there's immigration. And the assumption of some, not everyone, but the assumption of some that a Canadian is someone white. Well, it's not true. So many feel l lost. Uh, they feel that the parameters that was used for the last, let's say, 50 years are not quite as good, as efficient as before. I feel that those great principles does not apply anymore. And yet, what the Ten Commandments, when the text coming from several, many centuries ago, millennia, is bringing to the same principle. 
you know, you want to evolve as a society? Well, there's some principle like do not take a gun and shoot each other. Do not, you know, hoard all the resources or take what is not yours or try to to take for yourself for yourself what belongs to the community. Do not believe or share fake news or racist slur or stereotypes that we know are not true. They're false. And and so on. In fact, those those commandments are so simple that they still applies today it still applies and the desire to be God's people to to create a society where all will be respected a world where all will be valued and we need to remember that we need to remember the core of our desire or goal society where yeah people are safe people are taken care of and when we remember this we create better communities not just for us church people but for everyone and that's part of our call i believe it's not just to save us it's to save us all thank you for watching i remain stefan vermet the lectionary man and until next time take care of yourself and bye bye